this morning God we bow before you in the name of Jesus Christ we are here at Mount Carmel once again my God where you answer prayers by fire in Jesus mighty name father guide us today hear our prayers today answer our prayers today in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ we give honor and glory God speak to us teach us your word encourage every viewer in the name of our lord jesus christ thank you father in jesus mighty name father we have prayed amen thank you very much let us take our seats and good morning this opportunity to stand before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not take this for granted. I know it is by God's grace that I'm given this chance to speak to you. In 
Jesus' name. We are going to begin our teaching um, for this month of August. The theme is pray until something happens. Pray until something happens. And the, the subtopic under it is we shall be looking at health affairs. Health affairs. I want to begin by saying there are times when you feel as, as if you have prayed a thousand times without an answer. That's why sometimes prayer doesn't seem to, uh, to be attractive when you don't see the quick results. We sometimes think that maybe we are doing something wrong. That God, that God doesn't hear us. We may even question God's goodness. But I want to let you know that God still cares and hears every prayer. And he answers every prayer. That's why Paul said pray without ceasing. In First Thessalonians chapter five, verse seventeen, and when we go also in Third uh, John one verse two, Third John one verse two, the Bible says, "Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth." So we believe and still understand that God still cares about our health. God is still in the business of caring about your health and about my health. And God still wants us to prosper in the way we do our things. And when we look at health, we are not just looking at the physical health. We are also looking at the mental health. God, for you to prosper, you must have also physical health and also mental health so that you prosper. But this depends on our determination to pray. If you are able to pray, then the Lord Almighty will hear your prayer. So as we are seated here, children of God, and those that are listening and viewing, we are looking at prayers that can be continually be prayed and that, uh, that produce results. Anyone who is able to pray, God hears that prayer and he answers them. So today, I want you to understand why should we continue in prayer? Why should we continue in prayer? Whether our prayer, whether, you, whether the answer delays, we still continue to pray. Why should we do that? There are about three to four things that we need to discuss this morning. Number one, it, it takes great patience and faith to pray for a huge health living. It, it takes great faith and patience to pray for a huge health living. For instance, when we look into Genesis 20, verse 17 to 18. Genesis 20, verse 17 to 18. The Bible here says, So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife and his maid servants, and they bear children. 18. For the Lord has first closed up all the homes of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah. Abraham's wife. We are seeing here, children of God, that it was very difficult for the family of Abimelech to bear children because of the reason that is given in verse 18. And now it was a problem, but it called for a man of God, Abraham, who came to continue to pray for the family. He prayed for the family, and the result was that. The, the, the house of Abimelech began to bear children. 
So we begin to see that the, the results can be produced when people continue to pray. When you can continue to seek the face of God, God will produce the results. There's no way, no one who ever has continued prayed who has never received the answer. Your answer might be yes or no, but you will receive it. You will receive it as long as you keep on praying to the Almighty God. So we saw that instance, it happened. And now they began to rejoice. Even this day, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that has been hard in your life, anything that has been difficult to come forth by the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Almighty will help you to have the results that you have been seeking for for so many times in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be so in Jesus' mighty name. And we see also that persistent prayers has patience to wait and strength to continue in prayer. It never quits. You can check this one also. What happened in the story of Elijah and the prophets of Ba? Elijah and the prophets of Ba. When, when the Israelites had two opinions, they couldn't know. They were at the crossroad. They couldn't understand what they were supposed to do. Until Elijah said, we need to know. They need to choose who is the true God to keep the sound minds of the people. He wanted the people to have the sound mind, to know and understand what they are supposed to do. And we see when they began to pray, but Elijah waited patiently and he has the strength and the power. After they all prayed and they failed, but when he came to pray, we saw that God answered by fire. And the place and the result came. And the Israelites made the decision to know that God of Elijah is the God of Israel. I pray today, there are so many prophets today that are moving around, that are telling people, that are prophesying. But I want to let you know that our God will save, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, today will give you the right direction in Jesus' mighty name. Whether you are at the crossroad, today the day is made for you, that the decision shall come for you, and you will have it. If you have been praying for something, and you were having indecision, today I declare in your life, by the power of the Almighty God, your decision shall be made clear in the name of Jesus Christ. And you have the elf mentor that you'll be able to do things that you have never done before, because you will be encouraged, and you'll be strong strengthened by the prayer and by the results that you are going to receive in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be so also in your life in Jesus' name. If you are in the crossroad today, I declare, even those that are listening from the from the, the Facebook, I declare that your road shall be clear in the name of Jesus Christ. We quickly also look on the other aspect. We pray continually because praying continually displays a trust in God. Displays trust in God. Where believers trust God for answers in his own time and his own ways. In his own time and in his own ways. I, I get this one also from Acts 28 verse 8 to 9. The father of Pabulus lay sick of, of a fever and of blood flux or flux to whom Paul entered in and prayed, laid his hands on him and he was healed. We have seen that this man was sick lying on the bed. But they tried to do all what they could do. It was only prayer that came and sought out the problem. And I want to give you one example. For continuous prayers, for persistent prayers, how it produces the results. There was an instant on the copper belt. And I was caught. This woman was mad for two years. And the husband could not get married. 
but he was still waiting upon the, upon the Lord. When we went there, we prayed for over 30 days. Continually committing that woman into the Lord. Committing that woman into the Lord. One day, when she became so sick, they, 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 they came and called me again. That day when I prayed, a miracle happened instantly. And the woman came back to normal. After getting mad for two years, we saw that persistent prayer produced results. There are certain things that you have been praying for in your own life. You have been looking for a breakthrough in your own life. But you have been failing. And you think God has not been hearing you. I want to let you understand that the accumulative prayers you have been praying, God has been listening and God has been hearing. You are going to receive your results soon and it shall be today in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to receive this great praise crew in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Even you that are hearing me, on online i pray by the grace of the almighty god anything that has been a hurdle in your life by the reason of these prayers today i believe you have been praying over your issue today you are going to receive your answers in jesus mighty name can i hear a better amen so shall it be. We need to trust the Almighty God. Those that trust on Him, they believe that in, in His own way and time, the healing shall come to take place. Health shall come to take place in Jesus' mighty name. We have also something that we can also look at here. The other reason also why we should continue to pray is this. It removes it removes you from the culture where waiting is not considered a virtue. It removes you from the culture where waiting is not considered a virtue. You, re you know that waiting is the best use of our time. It is an important DNA of every prayerful person. A person who is able to pray and wait upon the Lord. That is the DNA that is embedded in those that know they are God. Those that know that they could wait for him. Those that know that the time of God will come. No matter the situation, no matter the waiting, the time of God will still come and appear. I therefore employ you to understand this very well. Like we, we can see in Numbers 21, verse 6 to, uh, to 7. When the Israelites began to rebel in the wilderness, God was furious, was, was, was angry against them. And he sent the fury serpents, which began to bite the Israelites in the wilderness. And they began to die in numbers. Then they decided to go to Moses. Moses, can you pray to your God? So that we are healed from these serpents. So that we are delivered. We saw more Moses kneeling down and crying to the Almighty God. He prayed and prayed until Moses was given the solution of what to do so that the children of Israel are saved. The answer came, and with those that were able to look at what Moses did to be saved, the solution came as a result of not crying, but as a result of praying to God. I pray to them, any situation in your life, anything that has become a problem in your life, God is going to make sure that you receive your answer in the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive it in Jesus' name. The culture of waiting, some people think that we have little faith. Other people say that, uh, why do you continue praying on the same thing? Maybe because you have no faith that God has already answered. It is not in that way. It is because you are trusting on the Lord. You know that your God is not dead. Your God hears prayers. You know that you are my God and your God will never let you not to answer you. 
God Almighty will still continue to answer your prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe that one, it is a virtue that should be embedded in every child of God that you are able to pray. You are able to pray, not to begin to think that you don't have the faith. That's why you are continuing praying in the same prayer. You need to continue to pray until you see the results. Your results can be either yes or no. But we are seeing many of the results here are yes. That's why Paul is saying when you pray in Christ Jesus, it is yes. And only sometimes when you receive the no. But the answer will still have to come out. Praise the Lord. So we need to know that children of God, our time as believers, we are supposed to continue to pray. Let us not faint. Let us not get tired. We need to rise up and continue to pray because the Lord hears the prayers even today. He cares about your business. He cares about your health. And therefore, he's busy and busy waiting for you to call upon him. And you answer through by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. The other aspect that I want to let you understand in continuous prayers is this one that says continuous prayers always produces responses. Either yes, as we have seen, or no. It will continue to produce the, the results. When we look at Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8 to 9, the Bible says, Paul prayed three times for the thorn that was in his body to be removed. But God answered and said, my grace is sufficient for you. He answered, he gave him the no. He knew he would not die, but his grace is sufficient, was sufficient for him. So what we are emphasizing here is that you will still have to receive your answer. No matter what, as long as you keep on praying to the Almighty God, you will receive your answer. It will come. The answer will come. Paul was given that. We have seen also when David, David's son was sick. He kept, he, he, he started fasting for three days. He prayed, roaring on the floor. He did all what he could do. But God answered by saying, no, I will not heal this child. It produced the results. He was told there was a reason why God did that. But the answer was given. Amen. So you expect the answer to come, including Jesus Christ himself during regarding the, the cross. He was praying that let this cup bypass me, but it's because it is by your own, your own will. We hear that he prayed, even his sweat tainted like blood, continually. But God gave him his own answer. So what we are emphasizing this morning is that God can give you your answer. If you pray, you cannot get the results. You haven't yet reached the maximum of prayer. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. You will see that the answer will come. And many of the answers, or the 95% of the answers will be yes, according to the motive of how you are asking God. I therefore implore each one of you that wherever you are doing, whatever business you are looking for, whatever things you are looking for, let God help you to understand that a sound man for you who will help you to live a health life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even your own physical healing, it must be a priority to God and it is a priority to God. You need to be fit as a child of God. Any sickness in your life today, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you will be healed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. All those that are hearing me on, online, I declare your health today, it shall be well. And you that are seated here, I declare by the power of the Almighty God, you will be delivered from that ailment in Jesus' mighty name. But listen, my dears, until you take up a prayer responsibility, you remain a religious and a spiritual liability. If you don't take up if you don't take up a prayer responsibility, you remain a religious person and a 
a spiritual reliability because you will not pray if you will pray and cut before God answers you and you stop in the middle, then things will not work for you. And that's why you must continue. Actually, prayer life must become as our DNA and, and must become as part of our own life so that we do what we're supposed to do and receive the responses that are required in Jesus' name. But brothers and sisters, before we do that, we need to check our lives. Are we straight in with God? Is our life better? Are we well connected with God? But if we are still living in sin, then our prayers may not be answered. We need to connect back to our God. So I want to pray for those that are listening and those that are here. If you are at least a bit or you are not in connection with the Almighty God, you need to connect yourself to God. So the way I'll pray, I'll pray a prayer that will bring you back to the Almighty God so that as we begin to pray these few prayer points, then the Lord Almighty will hear your prayer and will answer you by fire in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, shall we pray for those that the Lord does not say, I want to connect back to my God so that I receive my answers in Jesus' name. Father, I extend my hand upon each one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. That almighty God, whoever says that I've been wrong, I've been moving in sin, I've backslidden, today I pray in Jesus' name, have mercy on each one of them and begin my God to speak to them and connect them back to yourself so that as they begin to ask you answer them by fire in the name of Jesus Christ thank you father it is in Jesus mighty name that God I know they have received you and you have accepted them in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ father we have prayed amen amen and amen so we shall have some few prayer points before our daddy comes here to encourage us more. So our first prayer point we shall look at, we shall say, Father, by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy and uproot every form of sickness in my body now. Let us just stand up and then we pray this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say, my Father, my God. By the authority in the name of Jesus. I destroy and uproot every form of sickness. In my body now. In Jesus name. Go ahead and uproot every form of sickness in your body in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray by the grace of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Uproot every form of sickness in our bodies. Even on those that are listening. Whoever is sick, my God, on online. I pray by the grace of the Lord. I pray by the power of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God Almighty, oh do it now. Do it now do it now wherever they are let them listen and get well in the name of jesus uproot every evil uproot every evil uproot every evil uproot every evil uproot every sickness uproot every infirmity in their lives in their lives in the name of jesus christ my god and my savior you are god of abraham a god of isaac a god of jacob i pray in the name of jesus any form of sickness in their bodies for those that are listening and for those that are online I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ it shall be well with them uproot 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 them in Jesus mighty name thank you mighty God in Jesus mighty name we have prayed say father I declare that I am healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, 
Go ahead and declare. Go ahead and declare. Declare, 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 declare. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Declare, declare. I am healed by the straps of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am healed by the straps of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am healed by the straps of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am healed. 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 Whatever the ailment, whatever the ailment, I am healed. In Jesus. Jesus mighty name in the mighty name of Jesus God in the mighty name of Jesus God thank you mighty God thank you Jehovah God thank you Jehovah Rabbi in the name of Jesus my God in the name of Jesus my God in the name of Jesus my God thank you my God thank you Jehovah God we declare that in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord you are mighty God you are mighty God in Jesus Christ mighty name we are prayed Say, Father, every weapon waged against me, every weapon waged against me by my enemies, scatter them in Jesus' name. Scatter them in Jesus' name. Go ahead and scatter them. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you, Jehovah Rabba. Thank you, Jehovah Shekinah. In the name of our Lord Jesus, scatter every arrow of the enemy. Scatter every arrow of the enemy upon our lives in Jesus' name. Even on those, all those that are online, I pray for you now. If you are on the secret, it shall be well with you now. In the name of Jesus God, wherever you are hearing me from, I declare by the grace of the Lord, it shall be better for you in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The last prayer point says, Father, boost my immune, immune system and let every dead organ in my body to get quick, quickened in Jesus' name. Say, Father, boost my immune system and let every dead organ in my body to get weakened in Jesus' name. Go ahead and declare. Go ahead and declare. Let God boost your immunity. Boost my immunity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And every dead organ in our bodies, in your bodies, let it be, or be healed. Let it be weakened by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you, Jehovah Rapha. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is well. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we are praying. Today, Father, I pray. For that one who is on sick bed, I pray for everyone that is hearing me, wherever they are hearing me from, whether it is in the mountains, in the forest, wherever they are in this entire world, I declare healing upon them. I declare healing upon them. I declare mental health upon them. I declare good health upon them. And each one of us here, I pray, my God, any ailment they have in their lives, Father, from this hour, they are healed. Father, from this hour, they shall live good health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do it for your children, my God. You have done it before, and you will continue to do it in Jesus' name. Thank you, my God. It is in Jesus' mighty name, Father, we have prayed, and everyone say a better amen. Thank you, God bless you, and take your seats in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Um, let's just say just short word of prayer for Pastor Kamanga. Let's ask the Lord to strengthen him and empower him and grant him fresh grace and utterance. And that the anointing upon his life will never run dry in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Let me let you know that there are certain things that only God can give. It's always in response to what you can give. The Bible says in Luke 6.38 that give and it shall 
be given to you good measure pressed down shaking together running over shall men give to your bosom that's men good health and long life is what god can give ephesians 1 3 ephesians 1 3 say blessed be god and father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in heavenly places in christ jesus so take note that sickness is primarily a spiritual issue it starts and then becomes natural so for it to be terminated it needs a spiritual encounter i want you to use your offering as an instrument today of connecting to god to activate him to do what he will do for you so bring out your offering the choir will lead us this particular morning and i want you to give cheerfully so that god can give you what only he can give choir please Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the provision you have made already for our healing. By sending Christ on the cross to pay the price for us, was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquities. Chastisement of our peace was upon you, and by your stripes we are healed. Today, Lord, by our offering, we activate what only you can do alone for us. Release your healing upon every one of our lives in Jesus' mighty name. And letting any organ in our body that is not functioning properly now be replaced. And I ask Almighty God that you laminate us against any kind of pestilence and give us victory in this season in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, precious Father. And Lord, I pray that whatever it is that has been taking money away from families in the disguise of a sickness, today we command it to be uprooted and to be destroyed from the roots. And we speak deliverance of our finances in Jesus' name. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. You are Yahweh. Hey, yeah, you are Yahweh. Come on, let's worship Him. Hallelujah. You are Yahweh. Hey, yeah, you are Yahweh. Oh, love. Santa Yaba Santa Lift up your hands and worship Hallelujah, you are Yahweh Lord Yahweh Yahweh is the healer Yarebo Santa Yabaka Santa, you are Yahweh. 
Santa Libu Kusanta, the wheel of Yahweh, 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 Everybody, you are Yahweh, Lord. Go ahead and bless his name. Hallelujah, bless his name. Oh, Yari Bukaya Baka Sanda Bakaya Baka. Yele Bukali Yala Baka Sanda Baka Yaba. Yiri Baka Sanda Labo. Yere Bukriya. Yebo Nikasha Baka Lava Baka Yaba. Yele Kala Baka Sanda Yaba. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Yelebo salabakaya nama. Alabakuri yelebo sandalabakaya nama. Ulebo kono sidala yabaka lagalia. Ye mali yabaka sandalabaka yababa. We praise the healer. We worship the healer. We exalt the healer. Hallelujah, Lord. Yala bakali, yala baba baba. Arebo sali, yala baba ka, yala baba baba. Irebo remo sendele, yala baba baba. Yerebo sendele, yandele, yaba baba baba. Yenerebo sendele, yankali, yala baba baba. Hallelujah, Jesus. Blessed be your name.
Blessed be your name, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your name, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we worship. Stretch your hands towards this direction. Mande bokalia la baka sandeli ya la baka uria la baka sandeli ya ba sinteli ya raba kosanduri ya la baka san indiri ya la baka santori elebo sintere bokari ya la baka sandiri ya zandeli ya zandeli ya zandeli ya makuri ya ne zandiri ya ndo zandiri ya. Zandoriano, Zandarayana, Mako, Sindiri, Alaba, Indoriano, Zindiri, Alaba, Cassandaria, Anduria, Sandalaba, Curie, Zendek, and Delian, Doria, Zendoria, Bozangalia, and Curie, Sindere, Baria, Santa Macurie, Cassitaria. E makuri alaba sandaria ali abakando roso e lende bakadia alaba kali alaba kali alaba kali alaba ba alaliya Jesus Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus Father. Thank you this morning. For everyone on Mount Kamal, on site and online. Thank you for that which is in your hearts to do in our lives, O oh God. And Lord Jesus, it is in your name. I cause to the root every ailment, every sickness, every affliction every disease in the lives of those who are listening those who are watching and i command such to wither right now from the roots in the name of jesus let such ailments afflictions and diseases and sickness wither from the roots right now in the name of jesus wither from the roots now in the name of jesus let there be liberty let there be freedom let there be soundness of health from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet now in the name of jesus receive it it is done we thank you lord and in jesus name we pray put your hands together for jesus hallelujah lord Oh, hallelujah, you are Yahweh. Hey, 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 you are Yahweh. Come on, celebrate him, hallelujah, Lord. You are Yahweh. Hey, hey, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Alpha and Omega, Yebo Salabaka Yababa, you are you are you are Alpha Come on, sing, you are Yahweh. Jesus, you are, 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 you Alpha and Omega. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. I'm, I'll be waiting to hear your testimonies. I believe the Lord has visited you, has touched you this morning. Everywhere you are watching from and this of us on site. And um, you may not be able to read testimonies today, but I encourage you that you pick your testimonies um, sleep as you go and believe that I'm coming back next Wednesday with my testimony. And I believe also you write away your testimonies with you. And don't keep it so that the Lord can be able to do a lot more for you. Your testimony honors him and also he, he, he helps others to be able to receive theirs. Uh, those who are watching online who are joining us for the first time you're welcome to Mount Carmel and we look forward to having you again this time same time next Wednesday 06 30 praise the name of the Lord shall we share the grace and fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore amen and surely his goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. As you go, the Lord will go with you. No evil shall befall you. No plague shall come near your dwelling place. He shall be well with you in the morning time, in the afternoon time, in the night hours. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. It is done in Jesus' precious name. And if you came in with your testimony sleep that you took last Wednesday, please make sure that you drop it uh, with, with them at the information desk before you go. We'll be able to read it when we come back next Wednesday. The Lord bless you. Have a good morning.